What, what kinds of climate impacts are we seeing in Bangladesh? Like most of the people already know what kind of impacts we have in Bangladesh due to climate change. But I would like to actually to see the real impacts of climate change. I would like to invite you all to visit Isla affected area, which is near from Shatkira and Kulna district. The people actually those live there they are actually suffering in their daily life they're struggling with the water they're struggling with their life most of the people migrated from that that district to the capital for job for getting job so people are really struggling there with their daily life even we don't have the proper solution yet it's it's one and a half an year already passed but people are still they're struggling so this kind of problem we have in different coastal area the fishermen, they're suffering with their life. They can't go to the uh, sea to, for, for fishing regularly because the cyclone actually hampered their daily life. Earlier, we don't have the March cyclone in every year, but nowadays we have a frequent, uh, the cyclone frequency is increasing and it's hampering fish, uh, fisher lives. The farmer, they're struggling with the changing weather that they're struggling with the saline water so that's how people are actually struggling in bangladesh like i live in capital in of bangladesh the, before one year back our capital was flooded in one day in a one day for one day rain rain water so that's how we are actually struggling with our daily life in uh, in bangladesh due to climate change and how are people responding how are people coping like it's, it depends on people, people to people. Like those people actually lived in the village. They actually, they, they are actually always they are trying to cope with the real scenario, but they don't, they don't know actually about the, who is responsible for climate change because of their lack of education, because of their lack of information, because of their lack, lack of access to the information. But people those live in Bangladesh, all of them know, as a nation we are not responsible for climate change as a nation our contribution is very minimum to the global warming but we are the people those are struggling due to climate change so we try to actually raise our voice we try to get get attention from the world leaders those are mainly responsible for climate change so we are actually trying to develop a movement here to transfer our voices from here, Bangladesh, to world leaders. And do you think your voice is heard? Uh, actually, like, I, th I think it, it's, it's very slow, but it's, it's hard because we are not alone here. Because I know many of, many of the people around the country, they are actually raising their voices for us. They're actually creating a great movement. They're, they're actually building a building an alliance to sell, to helping and to to support the vulnerable people around the world. So I think our voice is actually heard by the world leaders to, through different media. The progress at international level to, to tackle climate change has been very slow. Are people in Bangladesh waiting for international negotiations or are they just getting to work? Like we are, we, as, a, as a vulnerable country, we are actually not waiting for the negotiations or world supports or anything because already government allocate its own money to the, to, for adaptation and other measures. People are actually coping the changing circumstances like I, 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 I can give you some example like tr they already adopt a few major to maintain their daily life but the, but the negotiations should be actually the world leaders should be come up with a solution very soon otherwise it would be very difficult for us to survive uh, like this and we've heard about the need for leadership is Bangladesh also leading in efforts to reduce carbon emissions? Like, uh, though as a, as, a, as a least developing countries, we, I feel we have some obligations. We can't fight with USA. We can't fight, fight with England. We have to compromise our demands when we go to the negotiations. Because if we, st if we stand against them, then they will maybe stop their supports 
to us. So that's why actually in every time we can't take the proper leadership. But if, if we have that freedom, if we have that independence, definitely we can take the leadership.